Before I start, I do want to uh, commend uh, two groups of people. First of all, our fans. I thought the turnout was fantastic. I thought our support was great. We certainly appreciate them coming out. Wish we would have played a little better for them. Secondly, I want to commend Navy. That's a fine football team we just played. Um, they are tough and physical and well coached. And uh, they run a lot better and they're a lot more athletic than anybody gives them credit for. But uh, they kicked our tail tonight. They deserve to win the ball game. You know, the bottom line is uh, they, they played really well. We made too many mistakes. And, you know, even if we had played mistake free, I don't know how that would have turned out because they're, they're pretty darn good. So I certainly don't want to take anything away from them. Uh, they're they're going to be hard for anybody to beat, in my opinion. So I'll be happy to answer any questions. Coach, you know about their, their offense. What did they do defensively to really keep the passing games a little bit off kilter? Well, they kept the ball in front of them. You know, we didn't, we weren't as efficient running the ball as we'd like to be. And they kept the ball in front of them. We, just, we couldn't get, um, you know, the big plays that we wanted. It felt like they could get a little pressure on us. Um, and I don't know how much pressure we actually got. It just felt like that, you know, on the field. And, you know, they, they played a lot of zone and, and kept the ball in front. And we knew they were going to do that coming into the game. But we just we didn't find a real, real good rhythm. Did you feel like maybe it affected Paxton a little bit, maybe pressing at times? You said that during the week you thought that, that could be a problem. Well, I thought the, the drive before the half, that – you know, that was as much my fault as it was Paxton's, you know. I thought that was a little bit of a press, but, you know, I, I was probably a little greedy there myself, to be honest with you, so. It seems to me like, especially in the first half, Paxton missed a lot of throws he usually makes. Was that something with maybe defense, or is that just more a mental mistake? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'd have to look and see which ones he missed and which ones he didn't miss. I mean, it, it wasn't... Uh, you know, as crisp as as it has been at, at times in the past. You went for it. I'm shot for it down. I, I got the sense, and you, and you had, took the ball originally. I got the sense you needed. You knew you needed the ball. Well, I felt like the possessions. You know, we were going to be limited in our possessions, and we had to try and maximize each one. You know, I'm kicking myself for the fourth and fourth and two, or the fourth and one and a half that we didn't get. It was just. You know, we had a couple other options that we could have gone to, and, you know, I'm still kicking myself for that one. But we knew going into the game that we'd probably need to be aggressive, you know, in those, in those short yardage situations because of the limited number of times you may touch the ball. So. With their rushing attack, was it a matter of execution or schematically things that you hadn't seen before? Or what no, I mean, it was – they're really good at it. And it when you're hanging on by a thread on every play to defend the triple option, and then you get the toss, and then you get the belly, and then you get the G, and I mean they're they're <laughs> they're a nightmare. I mean they're they're well coached. They're very good. You know they run. That's a, the thing that you see on the sidelines is they run much better than you, than people say they run. I mean, they, they can move. And a couple times we had guys and we got out, run to the edge. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is. How tough is it with how many running backs are throwing at you? I think there is eight players with a rushing attack. I don't know if that's as big a factor as just what they're doing. You know, I mean, their scheme and their ability to execute. And I don't know if the number of backs played a huge factor in it. On the, the, the long passing touchdown, was that just something that it just catches you by surprise because you're not, you're not? Well, we, um, like I said, we were hanging on there. We stopped them on the first drive of the second half and, um, you know, selling, literally selling out to, to try and get a stop. And, you know, you look, look in the wrong spot for a, a half account and they'll make you pay. I think they're disappointed. Um, no, I hope they are. But I, you know, my feeling in the locker room is there's, um, 
a group of kids that uh, that's disappointed they didn't find a way to win the game. They've been fortunate or played well enough to win several games in a row now. And sometimes, uh, I don't want to say it's good, but you need to have that feeling every now and again to remind you what it's like. So, you know, they're, they're disappointed, but they know we've got a, a tough game next week and we'll get ready for that one. It's no different than what I've been trying to say for the last 15 games, you know, is good or bad, you've got to find a way to put it behind you and move on to the next challenge or, or you're gonna, it's going to creep up on you. So I'm confident we'll get them going and get them ready. I mean, it's going to be a heck of a challenge next week. I'm probably going to be sitting in here saying the same thing. We're played a, you know, we played a really good team and maybe we won or maybe we didn't win, but you know, there's, there's a bunch of good teams left on the schedule. Oh, you know, my message to them was one, give credit to the opposing team because they played better than we did and they deserved to win the game. Secondly, we made um, too many mistakes. You have to play near perfect to beat them and, and we weren't there. And third, you know, we've got to get past this and move on to the next, the next ball game. You know, we don't control, necessarily control our own destiny in the league race, but we can still be a factor in it and uh, we've got a big game coming up next week. Really? Well, you know, I, I, it was really special. It was really neat. I mean, it was, um, you know, uh, I just hope they hang, hang with us. You know, like, I mean, these kids have won 15 straight games and, um, you know, and a share of a conference title and a, you know, a bowl victory last year and the first eight games this year. And, you know, so I, I, I think it was nice for them um, to see that kind of reward for their hard work by all those people showing up. Knowing the character of these guys, do you think it will be, um, I'm sure it won't be easy, but what will be to get them ready to go with the next mission at hand? Well, I'm hopeful that, um, that the, the burning desire to not feel like this again will be kind of the, uh, you know, the, the driving force behind us continuing to improve, you know, and continuing to highlight. Uh, you know, we did some good things out there, but, um, you know, trying not to feel like this again should, should fuel you to, to get ready to go for the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doing good. Good? Thank you all.